Andrew Lloyd Webber here on Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I am Amy Goodman. We are broadcasting from the Climate Summit here in Warsaw, Poland. Poland, the country of Copernicus, of Marie Curie, of Frederick Chopin. In fact, we flew into Frederick Chopin Airport. I'm Amy Goodman. During Tuesday's Democracy Now!, we brought you the story of Clément Soutin, a 23-year-old climate activist from Paris who was one of three young people kicked out of the climate summit talks um, with two other activists who'd expressed solidarity with the people of the Philippines. They were stripped of their badges when they held up a banner uh, standing with uh, Yep Sanyo, the Philippine chief climate negotiator. The banner read 2012 Bhopal. 1,067, 2013, high-end 10,000-plus. How many more have to die, the banner asked, talking about the typhoons in the Philippines. Their action occurred moments after the Philippines' lead climate negotiator, Nadarev Yebsanyo, delivered an emotional speech to delegates here at the U.N. Climate Summit. After yesterday's show, I raised the issue during a news conference with U.N. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and Christiana Figueres, the Executive Secretary of the U.N. Framework Convention on Climate Change. For Ms. Figueres, uh, you've been three young NGO members um, for standing with Chief Philippine uh, Climate Negotiator Sanyo after his address the opening day of the conference talking about the typhoon. Yet there are sign, uh, they held up a banner remembering the dead from uh, Typhoon Haiyan. Yet there are signs and banners of corporate logos everywhere here. <clears throat> the young people say you're sending a message that business is welcome here and civil society isn't. Commissioner Sanyo and others have asked you to lift the ban. Will you consider that? And this is for Dr. Ban. Uh, the World Health Organization has a ban on tobacco industry lobbying on FCTC delegates, uh, delegates around tobacco control. Would you consider a similar ban on the fossil fuel industry lobbying commissioners at these meetings? First, Ms. Figueres. Thank you. The, uh, the three concerned individuals were banned, certainly not for the content of uh, the banners that they put up. Uh, the United Nations stands with all delegates who stood in uh, ovation to show their uh, concern and their um, empathy with the tragedy in the Philippines. These three individuals have been debadged because they did not obey the rules of action, demonstration within UN territory, which all organizations, when they are invited to the UN, they sign and they perfectly well know that uh, all demonstrations are A, very welcome here, as long as the UN security knows ahead of time what they're going to do. Uh, I don't have the latest uh, number, but as of two days ago, we had had 17 demonstrations, many of them in support of the Philippines, all of which were authorized, all of which took place in a peaceful and planned way. Um, and I very much encourage all uh, observers to come to the United Nations, both with their hearts and with their heads. Thank you. For your question, uh, we need to engage all areas of industry uh, and society in the transition uh, to a low carbon uh, future, including industries that are presently associated with uh, high uh, greenhouse uh, gas emissions uh, related to uh, fossil uh, fuel. Uh, they too will have to uh, make a green and sustainable uh, investment uh, decisions and that will keep them uh, in business and thus within the bounds of uh, two degrees Celsius as uh, recommended by uh, IPCC. We must work together uh, so that everyone can be a part of solution. That was U.N. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and Christiana Figueres, the Executive Secretary of the U.N. Framework Convention on Climate Change, the U.N. Triple C at a press conference on Wednesday.